Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this easy but beautiful stitch here. This is the classic houndstooth stitch. Isn't that gorgeous? Same on both sides. It is good for so many things. And actually, I'm going to put in the description box all the tutorials of the things that I have made with this stitch. I have hat, poncho, Shaw, just look in the description box or the comment section for the links of things that I've made with this stitch. And I'm going to show you how to make the stitch itself and it's multiple so you can use it for whatever you want. It's very solid so it works great for anything that you'd like. Very easy beginner stitch as long as you know the basics you'll be able to do this. It's just a little different take on a double crochet, but it gives it that zigzag look, as you can see. I love it. Let's go ahead and do it. Now, first I want to ask you, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button. So you don't miss, and uh, no, turn your notifications on, so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Okay, for this uh, little sample here, I am using a Joann's Big Twist. This is their value yarn. Now, um, it is a 100% acrylic. You can use any uh, any way to yarn that you want for this stitch. You know, it just depends on what you're making. Uh, baby blanket size. Um, I would say you would need to make like a 40 by 40 baby blanket of a four weight yarn. P with using this stitch, you're probably gonna need about 12 to 1300 yards. And you'll probably need uh if you're doing a baby blanket and you wanted it to be about 40 by 40 probably a chain of like 130 or something but then again you can make it you know as big or as small as you want now this stitch is done in any number of stitches so you can chain as many as you want it does not matter there is no multiple to this stitch so you just chain and chain and chain until you get to your desired length whether it be a scarf, cowl, blanket, as I mentioned, um, the chain count you could use for that. Um, you can follow the tutorials I have for in the description box for other things that I've made. I also show you how to work it in the round in some of those uh, particular videos. But let's do this. So you got your chain. You got it, your project the width you want it to be. It's very easy. So first off, we're going to do a what we call <clears throat> a double crochet herringbone and that's all it is it's just one stitch and we're going to be working that in the fourth stitch from our hook so we don't count this one that's on our hook one two three and in the fourth stitch this is how we do our double crochet herringbone it's the only stitch that we use this whole pattern we yarn over and go into that fourth stitch from the hook draw up a loop now don't do anything go directly through the first loop on your hook and then we yarn over and go through the next loop on our hook. And then we yarn over and go through the remaining loop on our hook. And that is how you do a double crochet herringbone. It's very easy. Very, very easy. Great beginner stitch, but it's so classic and it's so beautiful. Again, yarn over and go into the next stitch. Draw up a loop. Don't do anything don't yarn over anything just go directly through the first loop on your hook and then you'll have two loops there you see yarn over and go through that first loop and then yarn over and go through the remaining two loops on your hook just like that again we're gonna do a double crochet herringbone in every single stitch to the end of the row Yarn over and go into the stitch, draw up a loop. I kind of grab it right here to kind of keep control and pull right through that first loop on our hook. Two loops that remain. Yarn over and go through the first loop. It's two loops again. Yarn over and go through the remaining two. See that? Again, yarn over and go into the next stitch, draw up a loop. Go directly through the first loop on our hook. Yarn over. There's two loops on our hook. Yarn over. Go through the first loop. Now there's two loops again. Yarn over and go through both loops. That's how you do the double crochet herringbone. Yarn over. Go into the next stitch. 
drop a loop. Go directly through the first loop on your hook. Two loops remain. Yarn over and go through the first loop. Two loops remain. Yarn over and go through all two loops. And we're going to do this in every single stitch of the chain. Yarn over, go into the next stitch and drop a loop. Go directly through the first loop like that. Got two loops on your hook. Yarn over and go through the first loop. Two loops again. Yarn over, go through the remaining two loops. So I'm going to do this until I get to the end of my row. You'll find uh, the more you do it, the easier it will become. It's just that first little stitch right here is probably the hardest after that. It's just a breeze. But once you get to going, you can really work up something pretty quick. Okay, I'll meet you at the end of the row. All right, once you get to the end of the row, I did a herringbone there and double crochet herringbone there in my last stitch. Row two is just the repeat row. So we're just gonna keep repeating row two back and forth, back and forth. It's actually uh, pretty, it's pretty much the same as row one. Besides how we start is a little bit different. So we're gonna chain one from now on, the beginning of every row and turn our work. And we're gonna go right back here into this very first stitch and we're going to do a double crochet herringbone so we're going to yarn over and we're going to go into that very first stitch and draw up a loop and we're going to go right directly through the first loop on our hook two loops that remain yarn over and go through the first loop two loops remain yarn over and go through those two loops there's your double crochet herringbone and we're going to work a double crochet herringbone in every stitch all the way across the row. So we go to the next stitch, drop a loop, go directly into the first loop. We got two loops on our hook, yarn over into the first loop, two loops on our hook still, yarn over and go through the remaining two. Again, you go through the next stitch, drop a loop, go directly through that first loop on our hook, two loops on our hook. Yarn over, go through the first loop, two loops on our hook. Yarn over and go through the remaining two loops. Now we're going to continue doing this one double crochet herringbone stitch in every stitch until we get to the end of the row. Once you get to going on this, it's like I said, quick, easy, beautiful. So I'll meet back up with you at the end of the row. All right, I'm coming to the end and I'm just going to do a double crochet herringbone into the last stitch. Just like that. And that's how you finish out the row. So it kind of creates like a zigzag pattern if you look at it closely. And we just keep repeating row two until you get to your desired length. So we chain one and turn. And we start right here in this very first stitch and do a double crochet herringbone. And one double crochet herringbone in every stitch across. Just like that. And after a while, it'll start to look like this. That's it. That's all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. And remember, like I said, even though it's super easy and super quick, it's a gorgeous stitch. And it works for so many things. Since it's solid, I can't really think of anything that it wouldn't really wouldn't work for. Um, so, and um, also, don't forget to like this video. Give it a like, please, and a share if you can. Remember, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you don't miss out on my videos. 
Um, also, come follow me on Instagram if you want. You can share all your crochet items with me, knitted items with me, anything you want to show. Yarn. I love looking at yarn. Um, you can go over there, follow me, hashtag Bag of Day Crochet, and let me, let me check out what you're doing. So thanks, everybody, for watching. Remember, check the comment section in the description box for all the tutorials I have made using this stitch. Uh, maybe you'll find some of those interesting, or you can take this stitch, as I just showed you, and make whatever you choose. Have a good day, everybody. Stay safe.